we needed to change the way we instruct students in the classroom. And so we embarked on a journey with, um, with Dwayne and the STAR protocol. We said, I want you to survey our building around instructional practice. And so Dwayne said, well, we'll do English, science, and math. And I said, no. I said, it's very important in this climate to continue the work that we're doing to observe every teacher in every classroom that is here. Everyone that works in this building is, as a teacher has a piece in the results, so they'll also have a piece in the success. We still had teachers in our building that were standing in front of a podium and just lecturing the whole time. We had kids asleep and we had kids not doing um, a lot of activities in the classroom. So what we talked about was um, changing that to student engagement, students being active in the classroom and having the teacher um, talk less. You would focus on the instructional practice because it's not about the content. It's very easy to find people that know content. The question is, how do they translate that content into learning so that kids get it? You know, our principal is very, um, very interested on getting to the next level. And it's going to take teachers that are focused on improvement. Uh, we, we want our kids to improve, and the kids need to know that we're interested in doing the same thing. You know, the stand and lecture isn't cutting it anymore, and uh, I think we've really had to embrace different strategies and ways of reaching our kids. As instructional coaches, we also provide professional development activities. We took a survey of all teachers and said, what do you want to know? Um, what do you want more help with? So we took that survey of all, all teachers and we created a professional development plan for the following year. We've got the um, instructional coaches who are helping us uh, about every two weeks. They're holding professional development activities and those are not required. Um, but they're, they're very helpful. We always had an opening or entry task. We modeled it. We went through each activity modeling it and when they left they had a takeaway. They had an example or they had something they could do the very next day in the classroom. It also made for a sense of uniformity too in the school. So we'd all go and use, we'd learn these great strategies or these great ideas and we'd all come back to class enthused and ready to use them and then the next day the students would notice well, we just did this in English, and we just did this in math. For a lot of people like me, who have been teaching a long time, and I went to college a long time, this isn't how I was taught to teach. And That's so it's right. good now hearing, oh yeah, I don't have to be up in front, giving them all the information. They're gonna learn more if they're part of that whole equation. In the past, I think definitely teachers knew what connections they wanted them to make, but they expected them to make them on their own. And now what I see as a whole is those teachers are helping kids bridge their learning to make those deeper connections. The thing that I, I loved about that teacher is that she wouldn't say, yes, that's exactly right, or no, that's exactly wrong, but she'd say, okay, but what exactly is the evidence that that is happening, and how would you explain yourself because of this? So then you have to think about it a lot more, and then you learn a lot more because you have to really look at why you got that answer. Students are engaged in the classroom, they're active in the classroom, they're learning more, there's more reason to go to class, they're getting more out of class. So because instruction is more meaningful, it in and of itself will begin to help change the culture. The, the, there has been a major attitude shift in the teachers. They um, now really practice that reflective art. The conversation naturally now turns to, this is what I can take from this from my classroom. I look at it as more we're not content driven, we're process driven. And that's the approach that administration and the climate takes in here is we know what we want. How are we going to get there? And how are we going to do that with all of us working together? It's about engaging the kids. It's about uh, facilitating the skill development, the knowledge base, the application into the real world, um, the thinking piece. Um, how does all that piece fit together in learning? And, and what kind of skills can teachers develop so that they be, that becomes the art for them.